Hi, my name is Grant, and thank you for watching the EZA Series product video. Today we'll be discussing the overall technical features of the EZA Series, as well as some overall uh, benefit. So as you can see, the EZA Series is a motorized linear actuator. It incorporates a closed-loop stepping motor through a ball screw, a ball nut, and a linear guide. The closed loop stepping motor is located towards the back section of the actuator. It's coupled to a ball screw. Now the ball screw is actually in a fixed position. As the ball screw rotates, it interacts with the ball nut, which is then attached to the linear guide. So with rotation, it forces the, the ball screw forward and backward along this linear guide, creating linear motion. So you can see that the cylinder actually protrudes out the end of the actuator here. Now because the EZA series does have a linear guide, it can handle a certain amount of moment load. And this is not the case with the EZ cylinder series, which is rated for no moment load. So again, the drive method of the EZA series is a ball screw. It has an effective stroke range of 50 to 300 millimeters. It can achieve a maximum speed of 600 millimeters per second. It can achieve a maximum transportable mass of 60 kilograms horizontal and 30 kilograms vertical. It has a repetitive positioning accuracy of plus or minus 0 0.02 millimeters. It can achieve a maximum thrust force of 400 newtons. And again, it does use a closed loop alpha step motor. Now the EZA series is available in two different frame sizes, the EZA4 and the EZA6. It's also available in three different types of input voltage, DC24, AC115, or AC220. Now the frame size and the input voltage is going to uh, affect the overall performance. Now the EZA series can be mounted in a few different ways. The basic method would be just a face mount at the end of the actuator here where the rod comes out and there's four tapped holes. The second way uh, is along these two guided slots on the back side of the actuator. In those slots you can actually fit a nut and then you can simply screw into that nut and then mount it that way. And the third option is we do offer uh, a mounting bracket accessory option and it would be incorporating these same guides but then uh, mounting onto a hard surface with these optional brackets. Now finally, you could use the EZS2, the 2 EZA series uh, dual axis mounting bracket. As you can see, we have an EZS slide, and then we, we can fashion the bracket directly onto the table of the slide, and then fashion the EZA directly onto that bracket. So it's a great way to create a, a, an XY or, or XZ or YZ type situation. Now I actually have a demonstration unit before you that I'd like to go ahead and share. So we have a similar type setup of what we see on the, uh, the slide. Um, we have an EZS series, EZS4 slide with an EZ, or EZA4 series uh, actuator. So again, we have a closed loop stepping motor up here along the linear guide. Inside is a ball screw with a ball nut. And then we have motion coming out in the cylinder down here at the bottom. So at this time, I'd like to go ahead and show you the type of motion that it's capable of achieving. Let's get a closer look. So right now I have it set to increment at one millimeter increments. And I'm actually using the EZ ED2 software to control this. If you would like to learn more about the EZ ED2 software, feel free to watch our common controller product video. I'm going to return or perform a sensorless return to home. 
Now I can also go to preset positions and I'm going to index it forward 50 millimeters. Again, I'm going to return it to home. Now because it is on this dual axis uh, actuator, I'd like to go ahead and show you uh, a, like a simple pick and play simulation um, to, so you get a better understanding of the capability of the actuator. Now I'm using an Alpha Step Plus controller um, interfacing with a common controller that's typical for the linear actuators, uh, the EZ2 series product. I'd like to go ahead and demonstrate what is called a push motion. A push motion is a motion that we can generate where we can actually limit the amount of force that uh, is exerted by the cylinder. Um, now the first motion is going to be at the full force that it can exert and then the second motion is going to be at the 10% mark. Once it reaches that 10% mark it's going to output an output to tell the master controller to stop motion and then return to home. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that at this time. So again, first motion will be at full force, second motion will be at 10%. Let's run that one more time. Again, full force first motion, second motion, 10%. So the EZA series, again, is available in two different frame sizes. The EZA4, which is 54 millimeters by 38 millimeter guide. Uh, six, uh, EZA6 is going to be frame size of 74 millimeter by 52.5 millimeter. It's available in either a 12 millimeter pitch or a 6 millimeter pitch. Again, we have a stroke range of 50 millimeters up to 300 millimeters, and they increase in uh, increments of 50. We have magnetic brake options available for all input or all types. Again, we have a DC24 input option, single phase 100 to 115, or single phase 200 to 230. So the overall system configuration, now this can be used in one of two ways. Uh, all packages are going to come with a common controller driver. Now this uh, has a built-in stored data type controller. In order to utilize that controller, you can either use the Teaching Pendant EZT1 or the EZED2 data editing software, uh, which incorporate with a PC. You can then simply use start and stop inputs to generate motion. To learn more about the common controller, again, feel free to watch our common controller product video. The second option to utilize this uh, controller slash drive is to use it as a stepping motor driver. Now this will accept a pulse and direction signal from uh, a PLC or motion controller and then interpret that signal to generate linear motion in the actuator. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800 468-3982 or email us at techsupport at orientalmotor.com. My name is Grant and thank you for watching.